<laughs> Rupert, you have you've been in the public eye. You've been in the public eye for a long time, uh, and as many people know, the tabloids are becoming incredibly aggressive. But is this true? You once uh, tracked down and ambushed a tabloid writer who was writing something about you or about to write something about you. What happened? I did. Uh, there was this uh, really nasty tabloid writer in Miami, and he lived in, um, in a suburb um, away from the beach, and he'd written... Uh, he was threatening to write something about me uh, doing something bad somewhere. And um, I found out where he lived. And it was in one of those streets that was called something Northwest 178th Street. Mm. And uh, so me and my friend got in the car, and we took some um, spray cream, uh, you know, that kind of... Uh, whippy cream. Whippy cream yeah. uh, to spray on him. And we went to Northwest 170th. Sorry, this was how you were going to punish him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delightful. I mean, I, this is a fantasy of mine almost daily. <laughs> that two cold English men would bust <laughs> my door down, <laughs> cover me in whipped cream and just leave. <laughs> no, go on. Anyway, we got to Northwest 123rd Street or whatever it was, and we got to the house and we rang the bell, and this really sweet, like, old guy came out and I said, I know what you've done. And he went, really? And I said, yes, and I just want to say this. I'm disgusted by your behaviour. <laughs> And he just sat there and went like that, and, he, and we went back to the car. And he said, See, he's absolutely outrageous. And we got to the end of the street, and we suddenly realised we'd been in the wrong street. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just some poor guy who'd answered the door. The, guy, the street we were meant to go to was the one next door. But anyway. Well, I mean, in many, it's not like you did anything bad. He's probably like, that was amazing. <laughs> 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 Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? Yes, I do. Tonight's question goes to. Uh, both of our guests. <laughs> uh, during the Napoleonic Wars, uh, did you think that uh, it would be possible for them to convert sugar from sugar beets, or do you think that was just a myth? Total myth. No, totally doable. <laughs> uh, both answers are correct. They're absolutely correct. Please like our wonderful guests, Rupert Everett, Rob Riggle, Ben Howard. Have some music for you when we come back.